Oh my god! Hey Rich, are you okay? No, um, I just lost a patient. Oh wow, I'm sorry. And I still have five hours left on this shift. Gah! Is there anything I can do for you? You know, actually there is. What is it? Will you help me make a TikTok? Uh, a, a what? A TikTok. Help me make a TikTok. But why? I think people really need to know what it's like. What What's like? For us, you know, to be in this moment. After a patient dies and we just have to shake it off and go back to work. But don't you think there should be a different time and place for this? It has to be right now. The moment's still raw. Here, hold my phone. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay. Ready? Um. No. No. Go. Gone too soon. <sighs> Rich. Oh, Ben. You ruined it. What the hell are you doing? I'm making a TikTok. Well, stop it. Your patient's family members are here. They want to know how he died. Oh, good. This is actually for them. Austin, from the top. You're making a TikTok about your patient that just passed away? Yeah, genius, right? No! Stop making TikToks about your dead patients at work! Why are you helping him with this? I actually don't know how I got here. Don't listen to him. Ben, trust me, this is gonna go viral. It's gonna go viral for all the wrong reasons! No, people are gonna love it. There's gonna be music, captions, it's a whole thing. Just leave it to the professionals. No. No. Gone too soon. Okay, sir, last thing is, we just need a urine sample from ya. Oh, okay. Bathrooms are right over there, and I'll be waiting outside. <sighs> Austin, what are you doing? Just monitoring my patients. What's up, Rich? Nothing. Just waiting for my guy to come out of the bathroom. Whoa, your bed 10's heart rate's going up. Oh, that's weird. He was fine just a minute ago. I should go check on him. I'll do it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm bored. Let me know if my guy comes out of the bathroom. Hi, sir. Is everything okay? Whoa, man! Don't you know how to knock? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Is, uh, is everything okay in here? Yeah, yeah, why? Well, your heart rate was going a little faster than normal, and we just wanted to make sure nothing was wrong. Oh, uh, I was watching a scary movie. Your TV isn't on. I turned it off. It, it was pretty scary. Okay. Well, just let us know if you need anything, okay? Well, that was weird. What was he doing? Nothing. He was just laying there. Well, his heart rate's back to normal. No, it's going up again. What the? Sir, are you sure you're not feel- Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, come on, man! Give me some privacy! Rich, what happened? Why were you yelling? He was masturbating in his room! Ew! Who would masturbate in the emergency room? Right? Hey, sorry that took so long. There you are! I was wondering if you were ever gonna come out. I'm usually not comfortable doing this unless I'm at home. Did you have to poop? No, I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Why is your urine so white? Oh my god, that's not urine! Oh, you needed a urine sample! Oh, that would have been much faster! Rich, call code gray, room 2! Whoa, what's going on? My patient's flipping out, get some Haldol, and security! Oh... Yeah, no... What do you mean, no? Security's... a little thin today. Do we not have security today? We do, it's just... um... It's Zane. Zane and...
it's just Zane. Everyone else called that sick. Are you freaking kidding me? Hey, I got the Howl doll. Is security here yet? There is no security today. What? Well, technically there is. It's just... It's Zane. That is not security. Who's Zane? I'm here! I'm here! Where's the code gray? Come on, I got him! Ah, Zane! Meet Austin. Austin, Zane. Hi. What's up, baby? Is that the Howl doll? You got the Howl doll ready? Zane, where is everybody else? It's just me, baby. Everyone else bailed. But it's all good. I got you guys. Oh my god, we're screwed. Zane, how much do you weigh? 108 and a half. Just checked this morning. Biggest I've ever been. Mm hmm. Ben? What? How big is your patient in room 2? I saw him. He's big. 6'2", 245 pounds. That ain't nothing, baby. I've seen worse. Zane, he's more than twice your size. Alright, well watch this. <gasps> what are you doing? He's doing push-ups. Oh my god! I'm sure we're gonna be fine. <sighs> How you like me now, huh? <sighs> Zane, you've had some sort of official training, right? I got a black belt in origami. Okay, enough! We have to get in there before my patient hurts himself! Okay, everyone just grab a limb. Austin, hit him with a howl doll as soon as you can. Okay. What should I do? Just grab a limb. Got it. Quick question. What's a limb? Seriously? Just hold his arms down, Zane! Come on! Yeah, come on, baby! Let's go! Zane! Hey! Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Hey! Ho! Huh. How are you feeling? Ugh, my head hurts. They're gonna take you to head CT right now. You hit it pretty hard. Hey, what happened? Did we get him? You don't remember? No. You slipped on a wet spot and hit your head before we even got in there. Whoa. But we got him? Yeah, we got him. Nice. I wish I could slip on a wet spot and forget this whole day. Mom, we got him! I told you I could do it! Hello, welcome to the ER. My name is Rich. How can I help you? It really burns when I pee. I think I have a UTI again. You said again? Do you get them pretty often? Uh-huh, I do. Are you sexually active? Yes. And are you making sure to pee after sex? It can help prevent UTIs. Oh, I always pee after sex. I don't want to get pregnant. What? I said I don't want to get pregnant. Peeing after sex does not stop you from getting pregnant. I'm pretty sure it does. No, listen to me, okay? You pee out of a hole called your urethra. You have sex with your vagina. They are not the same. They are two different holes. You do not pee out of your vagina. I have two holes? Yes, and the only way you're not going to get pregnant is if you use protection. That's not what my boyfriend says. Well, your boyfriend's wrong, okay? And you could be pregnant right now. Babe, I'm here. Is everything okay? Babe, this nurse says I could be pregnant. There's no way. Did you tell him you pee after sex? She pees after sex every time. I make sure. No, babe. I have two holes. I know. Vagina and butthole. But I'm only allowed to use one. Oh my god. No, babe. I have another hole called the urethra. Babe, if you had a third hole, I think I would have seen it by now. <laughs> right? I don't want to brag, but I also have like a mad good pull-out game, so I'm going to go ahead and guarantee she's not pregnant. Okay, I'm going to start over. Both of you, sit down. Girls have three holes. Hello, welcome to the ER. How can I help you? Oh, Huh, sounds Korean. One second. Hi, can I get a Korean translator? I'm a translator! You speak Korean? Uh, yes. Great, can you ask them what's going on? He has a headache! 
I'm pretty sure he's here for a rolled ankle. Yes, that's what he said. Headache and a rolled ankle. Can you just ask them how much pain they're in? Of course! <clears throat> Sign some Heju's hair. What's happening? They're writing it down for you. Thank you! What are you doing? Gotta go, bye! Ahem. <laughs> Richard. Hi, Ronnie. How's pharmacy life? Your patient's getting admitted. They need their medications updated. You mean... Our patient is getting admitted and needs their medications updated, right? Either one of us could do it, you know. Hmm. We'll see. Hey, can one of you verify Bed 2's meds? He, he will. will. Okay, maybe you two can work on it together? She has a whole purse full of loose pills. I can't even tell what's what. She didn't bring a list with her? Nope. Good luck. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Whoa, 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 this seems like a pretty complicated list of medications. Don't you think a pharmacist is needed? I mean, drugs are your specialty. Oh no, the key to an accurate list of medications is communication. And you, Nurse Richard, are the expert at good patient communication. Goodbye. But, 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 if you want to get better at communicating with patients, you should start right here. But this one, I don't have time for chit chat, Rich. I have to go mix drips for a very sick patient in 12. That, well, I'm getting a new patient, so it looks like I'm busy too. Oh, hey, Rich, don't worry about that patient. They're going to a different hospital. What? Ho ho ho! Oh, and Ronnie, don't worry about the drips in bed 12. The patient's dead. What? Family pull the plug. Don't forget to verify the meds in bed too, guys. So, it looks like we both have time now. It would appear so. You know, Ronnie, um, maybe if we worked on this together, we could knock it out quicker. <sighs> no, yeah, fuck that. I have a better idea. Hmm, do tell. Wait, what? Why me? It's your patient. And we're very busy, so good luck. Okay, Mr. Johnson, I got you some ice chips. I don't want ice chips! I want water! I told you, you can't have any water right now. You might go to surgery. I have been here for six hours, and I am literally dying of thirst. DYING OF THIRST! You can't be dying of thirst. We've been giving you IV fluids since you got here. My mouth is completely dry. Do you have- any idea what that means? It means you're not dying anytime soon, so you're not getting any water. I need water! Ugh. What a day. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I'm looking for Thomas Johnson. Do you know what room he's in? I do, he's my patient. How are you related? I'm his girlfriend. Got it. He's in that room right there. Do not give him any water. Oh. Excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? Do you know where I could find Thomas Johnson? Uh, yeah? How are you related to the patient? Oh, I'm his fiance. Uh... I'm sorry, you... You said you're his fiance? Yes, do you know where he is? Uh... You know, I, th I think he's an x-ray. Why don't you wait over there and I'll check if he's back. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom then. Perfect. What the f- Excuse me. Yes, H how can I help you? I'm looking for my boyfriend, Thomas Johnson. Do you know where he is? Auntie, what are you doing here? Amy, what are you doing here? Sarah? Jennifer? Mom? Amy? What are you two doing here? I should have given him one last sip of water.
What are you doing? You guys didn't hear? We're going on strike! Not gonna happen. What do you mean? I've been here long enough to know the hospital will give in at the last minute. They always do. But what if they don't? They're asking us to take more patients! Ha! Is something funny, traveler? No, nothing. It's just... Man, you California nurses don't realize how good you have it here. And where are you from? New York. <gasps> you California nurses. Oh no, I'm not getting five patients. Are you freaking kidding me? In New York, I was at an 800 bed hospital. It would be me, an LPN with one leg, two PCTs who only spoke Albanian, and a seeing eye dog with cataracts. We take care of that whole place. Why do I feel like that's not safe? What are you talking safe? Each patient would be bathed, medicated, and receive an hour-long shiatsu massage and aromatherapy treatment from Bath & Body Works by the time day shift rolled around. That math doesn't add up. Not to mention we also had to cook all the meals, wax the floors, and make bedpans out of furniture that had been thrown into the East River. Ooh, gross. Did you at least get breaks? If you're called smoking half a cigarette while hunting for loose skittles on the floor of pediatrics a break, then yeah, we got breaks. Wow. Maybe we shouldn't strike. Things are way better here than that. I couldn't survive on just floor skittles. What are you kidding me? Why do you think I'm here? It's because you nurses actually use your voices. And we're not even taking care of 800 patients. Alright, I may have exaggerated that a little bit. It was more like 722. But still, if y'all don't keep fighting for what's right for you here and your patients, how's the rest of the country gonna change? Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah, we're agents of change. We could make a difference. Don't get me wrong, you're a whiny little fox. But for the most part, you're doing the right thing. Oh look, the hospital caved. Strike is off. But it counts that we were ready. Does it? What does this tell you? Oh. Benny, how was work? Dude, I had to put myself down as an emergency contact for a patient today because they had no one. Oh, that's pretty sad. Not as sad as that one time I had a guy going through his dating apps looking for an emergency contact. That was sad. Mmm. You really can't just leave that part blank, huh? If you have an emergency, we have to call somebody. I once had a patient put down 911 as their emergency contact. I'm like, dude, if you have no one to call, who are they gonna call? I once had a patient try to call his friend from high school. They hadn't spoken in eight years. It was an awkward conversation. I had a guy right in front of me call his neighbor to be his emergency contact. Neighbor said no. What the heck, neighbor? I know! What about that patient who put down a fake emergency contact? When we called, Domino's picked up. I once had a patient ask, can I put myself down? Obviously you can't put yourself down. What are we gonna do? Call your unconscious body and tell you you're having an emergency? Oh no, he was asking, can he put himself down? Yeah, you thought your guy was sad. There was also this girl in the waiting room that asked the person next to her to be her emergency contact. What'd they say? They said yes, as long as she could be theirs. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. You know, I'm just glad we have someone we know and trust to put down. Yeah, seriously. Who's your emergency contact? What? It's you. Oh. Why? Who's yours? Um. Who is your emergency contact, Rich? It's Chad. Chad from ICU? Sorry. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ben. What brought you into the ER today? My son here seems to think I might be having a stroke. It's better to be safe than sorry, Dad. He never lets us take him to the hospital. I told you, I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't look like you're having an active stroke, but we could test it. We're gonna use the Cincinnati stroke scale, okay? There's three parts. First part, smile really big and show me your teeth. Good, no facial droop. Part two, we're gonna check for slurred speech. Repeat after me. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Sir? Dad! Dad, are you okay? I'm just kidding. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Ha, gotcha. Oh, jeez. Dad, don't mess around like that. I said I'm fine. We don't even need to be here. 
Okay, look, let's just check one more thing and I'll get you guys out of here. Close your eyes, bring your arms straight out in front of you with your palms face up and hold it there. Can you get your left arm higher so it's even with your right arm? No, that's as high as it goes. What do you mean that's as high as it goes? Lift it. Ah! If I bring it any higher, it starts to hurt my shoulder. How long has it been like that? It's been like that for years. He refuses to get it checked out. It's not that bad. Okay, well, I don't think you're having a stroke, but we should definitely get that shoulder x-rayed while you're here. Sir, we just looked at your x-ray and your shoulder is definitely dislocated. Really? I knew it! When did you say this happened? Must have been a couple years ago. Son, when did I fall off that ladder? Dad, that was Christmas of 2014, eight years ago! Oh yeah, I guess eight years ago. You haven't been able to move your arm for eight years? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, that is impressive. Anyways, I called the team down. We're gonna get your arm back together. Just hang tight for us. Two weeks later. This is incredible! Son, look what my arm can do! Ow! Hi sir, my name is Ben. What brought you into the ER today? I have a really bad rash on my genitals. It's not going away. I am gonna need to take a look at it. Can you pull your pants down? Yes. Oh wow, it's really inflamed. When did this start happening? Um, about less than a week ago. Okay, it looks like an STD, but have you been doing something to it? It looks really bad. I've been spraying Clorox on it. Did someone tell you to do that? I don't know. I just panicked. Okay, that's all right. Uh, do you know who you might have gotten this from? Uh, my wife. Okay, does she want to come in and get checked out? No, I mean, no. She's out of town. It's just me. Is she also spraying Clorox on herself? I don't know. I mean, yes. Yes, I I'll tell her to stop. Listen, can you please not report any of this? I I'm a priest and I'm not supposed to be married. It would be really bad if my church found out. No, of course not. That's against the law. We're just gonna make sure you're okay. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Follow me. Hey, Rich, I just had the weirdest patient interaction. Me too! You first. Get this, the patient I have is a hooker with genital herpes. Checks out. But she's been spraying Clorox wipe on it, thinking it'll go away. What? Who told her to do that? The guy she slept with, who just happens to be... A priest? Yeah. How'd you know that? Lucky guess. I am sending this patient up whether you take a report or not, Janet! I've had 20 people in the waiting room since this morning, and we need beds! Ben! What's our bed situation? We got like three ambulances lined up outside. Take bed two up to four north. I don't give a damn if their nurse is on break! We're going on divert. Nice! Hey, I'm here. Where do you need me? Get out to triage. We got 20 people in the waiting room. We're going on divert. What's divert? We're not accepting any more ambulances. We can do that? Hell yeah! Can somebody page ortho? How do you decide when to go and divert? Look around you, Austin. This place is a shit show. Use your instincts. This is the time to go and divert. AKA when it gets too busy. But then where will the ambulances go? To a different hospital. That's dangerous for the patient, isn't it? No more dangerous than having to wait hours here to be seen. You'd rather have them die in our waiting room? No, we can't take you. We're on divert. Go to Summit Hospital down the street. What are you guys still doing here? Get to work! Austin, triage! Hi sir, my name is Austin. What brought you into the ER today? I ate an edible about two hours ago and I don't feel well. My head really hurts. Got it. Is there anything else? No, I'm scared. I've never felt anything like this before. This can happen when you get too high. Sometimes you get paranoid. I'm not paranoid, man. My head really hurts. We're gonna get you something for that. Just try to breathe for me. Just help me, man! <sighs> Hey Ben, I got this guy in triage, he ate an edible, he's pretty high and he's complaining of- Are you serious? We don't have time for this right now! I know, but he's also complaining of a really bad headache. Like you think he needs a head CT scan? I think he should get one, but we can wait till the doctor sees him. No way, do not waste time. Tell the doctor to get him some ibuprofen and get him out. Hello? Yes, we need you in bed 9! 
Hey, Doc, can we please discharge the kid who ate the edible? I think he just got back from CT. You actually sent him to get the CT scan? Yeah, luckily we did. The kid's got a brain bleed. What? Yep, right there. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Good job. What do you mean? The nurse out in triage said it was your guys' idea to get the scan. I was on the fence about it, but luckily we did. Well, Austin said that? Yeah, why? Uh, nothing. Hey. Hey, Ben, what's up? Thanks for not listening to my dumbass and getting that kid a CT scan. I figured it was for the best, you know? <sighs> yeah. I used my instincts. <laughs> Man. He could have died if I was taking care of him. It's been a stressful day for you, but don't worry. I got your back. You know I would have yelled at you if the scan came back negative, right? I know, but better safe than sorry. Besides, I figured you'd forgive me. Yeah. Well, can you forgive me? Of course. I love you, Ben. Right. Okay. Back to work, punk. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm here. Where am I going? Morning, Ben. I'll let you guys decide. Room two is an old meth-addicted lady who's just brought in by ambulance for what's likely sepsis. And room 12 is a pediatric patient, but I'll take the meth lady in room two. You don't have to run just because I said pediatrics. This is awesome. I love kids. No, but wait. Oh, come on. I wrote down information for you guys. All right, what's going on? 72-year-old female found down in her apartment, A&O times 2, fever of 102, and a heart rate that's been fluctuating around the 150s. We also put her on 5 liters of oxygen. She definitely has an infection. Who called it in? Her neighbors. They also told us an interesting story about her. What, that she's a meth user? Apparently, she's also a sex worker. Like, currently or in the past? Currently. It's the only way she could pay for the meth. Who would... She's 72. Some people have their kinks, Ben. Ugh, I'm not even gonna think about it. Anything else? She's also got a colostomy that's looking a little funky. Oh yeah, it's really red. That's not good. Alright, we'll check it all out. Thanks, man. Hey, Doc. Did you see the lab results for meth lady? Yeah, blood work's all negative. I know. What do you want to do? so weird. She definitely has an infection somewhere. Did you see her colostomy? I did. Definitely doesn't look normal. Do you want to culture it? May as well. I don't know what else to do. I'll do it. Thanks, Ben. What the? Oh my god. Ben, did you see the results? Yeah. Ma'am? Ma'am, wake up. Ma'am, we found syphilis and MRSA in your colostomy. Have you been using your stoma for sex? Ma'am, that is extremely dangerous. You should not be doing that. Uh, a hole is a hole. Whoa, Ben, you okay? I should have taken that pediatric patient. That pediatric patient was 17 years old, 200 pounds, and combative. Still a pediatric patient. My meth lady was letting people use her stoma for sex. Ew. Oh, yeah. That's called the Philadelphia sidecar. Why do you know that? What? You guys never just get lost on the internet? No. Oh. Okay, well, you should Google it. <laughs> Not here, though. At home. That's gross. It's not gross. It's for learning. I'm gonna go throw up. Me too. I'm just trying to give you guys information. Ugh. I am so unappreciated here. Ugh, come on. Pick up. Hey, Rich. Ready to go to break? I can't yet. I'm trying to get a hold of Bed 12's family. He's not gonna make it through the night. 
What's wrong with him? Stage 4 liver cancer. He's barely 70 and he's already a DNR. No one's even shown up for him yet. It's so sad. Oh my god. Where did he come from? The nursing home. They said he has kids, but they never visit. That is really sad. Right? What kind of ungrateful kids won't come see their dying father? Do you want me to take over so you can go to break? No, I want to get a hold of one of his kids so I can yell at them myself. Can you just go make sure he's okay? Hi, Mr. Smith. Rich! Rich, is that you? Oh no, Mr. Smith. My name is Austin. Rich will be right back. Please don't leave me. I'm scared. I'm right here. Don't worry. Will you hold my hand? I can't see very well. Of course. What is this scar on your hand? My son stabbed me with a kitchen knife years ago. Oh my god, that's awful. I'm so sorry. No, I deserved it. I'm sure that's not true, Mr. Smith. Can I tell you something? Yes, what is it? I... I... Mr. Smith, are you okay? I... I I've, I've done many bad things in my life. Oh... I'm sure we all have. I, f I feel guilty. Really guilty for hurting the people around me. What do you mean? I, I've tried to be a good person, but I can't help myself. I think you're being too hard on yourself. I find children attractive. Even my own children. I treated them so poorly for years when they were young. Do you understand? You mean... I hurt them and I enjoyed it. I still do. I can't help myself. Do you, do you think God will forgive me? I don't... I don't know. If you were my son, would you forgive me? No. Yo, I finally got a hold of his son. He's not coming. The guy says he's busy. They won't even come to pick up his belongings. Can you believe that? Some family, man. Yeah. Crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna go to lunch. You good? Austin! Yeah? You good? Yeah. Yeah, I I'm good. Okay. Hi, Miss Rydell. Your dad's ready to go home. All the tests came back negative and... Nobody's home? You're gone for the weekend? N no, Miss Rydell, we can't... Hello? Hello? Austin, when is Mr. Rydell leaving? I need that room. The daughter just said she won't be home and asked if we could watch him until the end of the weekend. What? No! What do I do? Call her back and get him out of here. I have 20 people in the waiting room. Where's my daughter? She can't make it tonight. Oh, shucks. She's always so busy. Don't worry, Mr. Rydell. We'll take care of you. Try to get some rest, okay? It's late. <sighs> Mr. Rydell, please stop! I gotta go! Let me go! You can't get up! You're gonna hurt yourself! <clears throat> ah! No! Mr. Rydell, you're gonna fall! <clears throat> What's happening? He's sundowning. Watch his hands. <gasps> Whoa. Rich, get the restraints. Got him. Get his legs. <sighs> oh, oh. My eye. He spit in my eye. Get his legs, goddammit. Austin, tie down his arms. I'm trying. Uh... 
Thanks for helping, guys. You need to sedate him. We can't do that without a doctor's order. Well, somebody better get one, because I'm not getting spit in the face again! I already feel so bad for tying him down. It doesn't feel right. It was the right thing to do, for his safety and ours. We need to start charging for elderly care, the forgetful family fee. That'll teach these ungrateful people to start picking up their grandpas. Hi, I'm here to check on my grandfather, Mr. Rydell. Oh, hi, I'm Austin. I've been trying to reach your mom. Yeah, where have you guys been? Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry about my mom. She's very stressed out right now. She works all day and has to stay up with him all night. How's he doing? We had to restrain him because he was getting violent. That's been happening a lot more. We don't know what to do. We understand. It's not easy. But this situation isn't sustainable either. We can't keep him here forever. He needs to go home. I don't know how to take him home. It's not safe to take him in the car. We'll arrange for an ambulance to take him home, but he needs a full-time caregiver. I try to be there when I can. We've been trying to get him into a good nursing home, but the waiting list is always so long, and it's really expensive. We'll give you some resources. It may not make the wait list go any faster, but it can help with the cost. Mr. Rydell, your granddaughter's here to take you home. Oh, thank you. You've been very kind. It's our job, sir. What happened to your hair? It's really not easy getting old, is it? Nope, not at all. Least we could do is try to make it easier. And if not, there's always the forgetful family fee. <sighs> Hello, Jennifer's Real Estate. Yes, I'm at the home right now. I'd be happy to show it to you. Oh, I'm not due for another couple weeks. Yes, yes, I insist. Pregnant women have to work too. Okay, great, I'll see you in 20. And this is the dining area, perfect for our family dinners. Oh, please, have a seat. Ah! Oh, oh uh, yes, everything's fine. Would you excuse me for a moment? Oh, come on. Hey, Ben. I'm on the phone. Did you know all the benefits of eating dried grapes? I said I'm on the phone. But I'm raising awareness. I said I'm on the... Get it? I'm here. I'm here. Whew. Where am I going? You're in triage. Take this idiot with you. Why? What happened? Dad joke saves lives. Uh-huh. I don't get it. Everyone just go to their assignments! Okay, wow. Jeez. Hello, my name is Rich. What brought you into the ER today? My vagina's bleeding! Okay, and when did that start happening? I think I have broken glass in my vagina! That was not part of my question. Wait, what? I'm 48 weeks pregnant and I was showing a house to a potential client, but I didn't want my water to break while I was presenting. Okay... So I put a cup in my pants to catch the water, just in case, you know? But I sat down and it broke! The cup or your water? The glass cup! Right, that's why your vagina's bleeding. Got it. Ah. <clears throat> Took me a second. Uh, what are we doing? Austin, get the trauma room ready! Why are you yelling? Uh, uh, pregnant, broken, glass water, bleeding vagina. Oh, how exciting! Are you having a boy or a girl? Why does that matter right now? It's a boy. <laughs> Don't answer him. You know, if you had to give birth in the car on the way here, you could name him Carson. You... Car... Oh, ha, <laughs> That's... that's really funny. Oh, oh, thank you. I needed that. Dad joke saves lives. Get the trauma room ready! Uh... Austin! 
Whoa, you okay? Rich, you'd know. What has more caffeine, coffee or tea? How tired are you? I only got two hours of sleep last night. And your shift just started? Help me, Rich. Okay, just do what I do. Take a fresh tea bag and steep it in a cup of hot black coffee. Best of both worlds. That sounds gross. Are you trying to stay awake or not? Ugh, fine. Can you put an IV in my patient at room 9 while I go do that? Yes. Hello ma'am, my name is Rich. I'm gonna get you an IV, okay? Are you the nurse or the doctor? I'm a nurse. I would like my doctor to put in my IV, please. No, you don't. Excuse me? Ma'am, I have successfully put in several IVs this morning. Your doctor hasn't touched an IV in two years. I would still like to speak to my doctor first. Thank you. That's fine. I'll be right back. Hey, Doc. What up? Can you come into room 9 for like two seconds? Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay, ma'am, we're back. This is your doctor. Hi, ma'am, what's going on today? Doctor, I would prefer if you put in my IV. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, did, did you hear what she said? <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> oh, hey, well, that, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> can I get, no, that's good. That's, I, need, I needed that today. That's, wow. <laughs> Rich, can you stop messing around? Come on, just get it. All right, just, <laughs> you guys are too much. All right, go, just do it. So, my name is Rich. I'm the nurse. I'm gonna get you an IV, okay? Ugh. Austin? Rich, I think I've had too much of your coffee and tea. How many cups have you had? Like, three cups, but I spilled a lot of it. Oh my god, you were only supposed to have one! You, you didn't say that! I didn't think I had to! Can you please stop moving? I can't focus right now! Austin, I am not moving. Well then we are having an earthquake because everything around me is moving! <sighs> hey, any of you guys available to get an IV in room 6? No! I'll be right there, Doc. Hey, you need to go home. Yeah, okay. Can you help me to my car? Yeah, come on, get up! Did you sleep at all last night? Ship just started. Want some coffee? I'm looking for my daughter Stacy. She was just here with the nurse. Hi sir, that was me. I was the nurse. Where is my daughter? I already brought her back, but I need to speak to you separately. Did you get her a pregnancy test? Yes, and we have the results. And? Sir, I need you to lower your voice. And I need you to tell me where my pregnant daughter is. She's not pregnant! What? Your 16-year-old virgin daughter is not pregnant. But you acting like an overgrown bully is browbeating her into thinking that she might actually could be, even though she's never slept with a boy. How do you know that? Because I listened to her. Do not tell me how to talk to my daughter. You have no idea what we've been through. I am only trying to tell you what she told me. She's not pregnant. We have the test results. I believe everything she says. Then why didn't she say something to me? Because look at what you're doing. I can barely say anything to you without you getting mad at me. How do you expect a 16-year-old girl to talk to you? I was just trying to protect her. She's all I have. I know. But right now, she doesn't need some warrior to protect her. She needs her father to tell her everything's gonna be okay. She needs you. Okay? <laughs> hey. 
Hey, Slugger. Hi, Dad. Hey, hey, everything's gonna be okay. I promise you, everything is gonna be okay. Okay. Well, that's a start. Good morning! Where am I going, Ben? I need you both in room 2 to put a Foley catheter in an old lady. Why do you need both of us in there? Because she's completely unresponsive, and because the daughter who's also in there is a board member of the hospital. Oh. She's been giving me a headache about how to take care of her mom all morning, so I need you to go in there and pretend like you actually care. I always really care. And don't mess anything up. Don't worry, Ben. You can count on us. Hi, ma'am. My name is Rich. This is Austin. We're here to give your mom a Foley catheter. Why? What is that for? It's a tube that will drain her bladder of urine. It'll help her pee. Oh my god, you're gonna stick that in my mom's vagina? Well, no. We'll stick it in her urethra, which is right above the vagina. But generally, yes, in the same area. Oh no, I can't watch this. Mom, I'm gonna step outside for a minute, okay? Please be careful with her. I've already had to yell at several nurses today. Of course, ma'am. And please tell her everything you're going to do to her before you do it to her. There's nothing to worry about, ma'am. We do this all the time. She's going to be okay. Okay, let's do it. I'll grab her legs. Okay, ma'am. You're going to feel my fingers and some cold cleaning soap. Now I'm gonna insert the catheter. You're gonna feel some pressure. Did you get it? I think so, but nothing's coming out. Are you in the right hole? I'm not sure. You're in the vagina. Pull out. Try again. I can't get it. Dude, I thought you said you got this. Do you want to try? I didn't bring extra sterile gloves. Just go get some. I'm not gonna leave and get gloves. It'll look like we messed up. Is everything okay in there? We're almost done, ma'am! What are we gonna do? Pull up a picture of a female vagina on that computer so I can see where it is. Okay. There, see? Urethra. Right below the clitoris and above the vagina. Okay, one more time. Give me some lube. Come on, Austin, you got this! I got it! Yes! Finally! Okay, ma'am. We're all done now. Does it usually take that long? Yes, sometimes it can. Huh, that was stressful. Okay, daughter's back in her room. Why do I feel like we're forgetting something? Excuse me! Someone is looking up inappropriate female vagina pictures on the computer in my mother's room! I can't think of anything. Yes, Miss Duke, I understand, but like I said, we cannot take reservations in the ER. It's first come, first serve, with priority given to the sickest patients. Look, I can tell you the person who's been waiting here longest has been here for about three hours. Yep, you will likely be waiting just as long. Mm-hmm, I understand, the sore throat is very painful. That's why I suggest you go to urgent care where they can see you no, ma'am. Nope. Yes. Okay. Fine. Okay. We'll see you when you get here. Mm. Yo. Ta! Ready for a report? How long have you been standing there? About 10 minutes. Got a new patient for you. This is the fifth patient you've brought us today. What the hell is going on out there? Don't worry. This is an easy one. All right. What is it? 42-year-old female with a history of meth use, chief complaint of sore knees and summer teeth. She was also a former Miss North Carolina. What the hell is summer teeth? You know, some are there, some are not. That's terrible. Put her in the waiting room. Straight to the waiting room, huh? We got no space, man. I got three other ambulances lined up against the wall and we're short-staffed. Waiting room. Rich, have you seen my patient in room two? I can't find him. No, I've been swamped here. Do they have an IV? 
Yes. Shit. All right. I'll check outside. You check the bathrooms. Mr. Villanova, are you in it? Whoa, Ben? Are you eating a patient's turkey sandwich? No. Can you help me find my patient in room two? He's missing. Do you have an IV? Yes. Okay, let's go. Mr. Villanova! Mr. Villanova! Ben, I can't find him. I don't see him either. You'll have to call the police to look for him. Why do they always run away with an IV? Dude, an IV is a drug abuser's dream. Fastest and quickest way to get high. Damn it. I can't believe I lost a patient. Eh, that's what happens when we're short-staffed. Come on, let's go back inside. You can have the rest of my turkey sandwich. Yes, Mr. Kansas, we do have gay nurses here. Nope, Mr. Kansas, I don't know how they got hired. Hey, did you find them? No, don't worry about it. I'll call the police. Can you bring our former Miss North Carolina to room two? Chief complaint, sore knees and summer teeth. What's summer teeth? Summer teeth? Have you seen her teeth? Looks more like the final four. Yep, hello, I'm still here. No, I cannot guarantee you won't get a gay nurse. Mm-hmm, fantastic. Well, I hope you die in peace. Hey, does anyone want to get a drink after work? Austin, what's up? Don't pinch me, it's green, I have green. Why do you have a bag of guacamole chips taped to your chest? Ben's going around pinching people who aren't wearing green. Why? It's St. Patrick's Day, and I guess Ben found out he's part Irish. He's been really passionate about it. Really? Ow! What the? Where's your green? Did you just pinch me? Are you wearing green? My thong is a shade of lime green. Do you want to see it? Green! Gr this counts, right? That counts. I better not catch you slipping. You're not even Irish. Crazy guy. Anything good today? Tony Hawk is here. He had a skateboard accident. What? I love Tony Hawk. Yeah? Want to come say hi to him? I'm about to show him his x-ray. He broke his femur. Heck yeah! Let's go! Hi, Mr. Hawk. I'm back. This is my colleague, Rich. What's up? <laughs> hi, Mr. Hawk. <laughs> I'm a big fan. All right. I have your x-rays here. It's pretty bad. Here, take a look. Oh my god. Gnarly. <laughs> so when do you think I'll be able to skateboard again? An injury like this will probably keep you out four to six months. Do you ever plan on retiring from skateboarding? No way. As long as I'm still physically able to, I'll never stop skateboarding. If my leg ever looked like that, I wouldn't just retire from skateboarding, I would retire from walking. Not me, man. Not until the wheels fall off. Tony Hawk, show me your green. That counts. Don't mind him, he's Irish. I still can't believe he's 53. And still skateboarding. I don't think I've ever even broken a bone. Consider yourself lucky, it hurts. Where's Ben, has he tried these? He's out in triage. Is he pinching patients out there too? No one is safe, Rich. Sir, it is 2 p.m., what have you been drinking? It was this weird green cider they were serving at the bar for St. Patty's Day. My stomach's killing me, man. Can, can you get me something? Ugh. We're going to bring you back right now, but before I do that, are you wearing anything green? <laughs> that counts. What are you doing? Want to help me put an enema in my guy? Oh, uh, um, well... What's wrong with you? Yeah, you okay? No, it, it's nothing. I'm just... I'm just not good with poop. Have you ever given an enema? Of course. Once. But I got so sick after I had to check into the ER. Take him. Yep, you're coming with me. Only way to get better is to practice. Come on. <sighs> okay, Mr. Circle, I'm back with my buddy Austin here. Hi. Please help me. I'm so constipated. Austin is going to give you an enema. We're going to stick this tube into your rectum and pour all this fluid into you to try to soften the poop to get it moving out of you. Hopefully we could see you blow some mud so we can get you feeling better. Austin, are you ready? All right, here we go. 
Turn towards me, Mr. Circle. And done. Okay, great, Mr. Circle. Try to hold the fluid in for as long as you can, okay? At least five minutes. The longer the better. Okay! Me and Austin will be right back. Okay, not bad. We'll give him five minutes and then go back in to clean him up. You mean take him to the bathroom, right? Don't we have to get him on a toilet? Oh, Mr. Circle can't walk. That chocolate soup is coming out right on the bed. We'll put a bunch of pads and sheets around him. It's not gonna get anywhere. I'm gonna go get a snack real quick. You want anything? Okay, Mr. Circle. You ready to release the Kraken? Please! I can't hold it in any longer! Okay, Mr. Circle. Go ahead and release. I got you. <sighs> You're doing great, Mr. Circle. Is it coming out? Yeah, a lot. Nice. Oh, watch out! It's getting on the ground! What? Oh no! More pads, more pads, more pads! Block it! <laughs> I can't! It, it's getting all over the floors! Crap! It's getting on my shoes! Hey, I just said crap! I didn't even mean to do that! It's on my pants! Rich! Rich, it's on my pants! <laughs> What's happening? You're doing great, Mr. Circle! Austin, calm down! Breathe! You're gonna slip! <laughs> Austin. Austin. Hello, my name is Ben. What brought? Hi. What are you doing here? <laughs> What's that smell? That would be him. Is he covered in? Yeah. I'm good. Just check him. He hit his head. Hi, my name's Austin. How can I help you today? This is my daughter, Brenda, and she's bleeding a lot from, you know, between her legs. Oh no, did you hurt yourself, Brenda? She didn't hit anything, did she? No, she just started bleeding. Huh. Has she had her period yet? What's that? Her... Her, her period... Do you think it's your period? I think she's gonna be okay. Let's bring her back and we'll take a closer look. Okay, Brenda, try to hold it in until we get back there. Oh, no, sir. She can't hold it in. She's bleeding. What do you mean? She's bleeding. Imagine if you were shot with a gun and I told you to ask your body to stop bleeding. It, it wouldn't work. I don't understand. That's okay. I'll get someone to explain some more when we get back there. Follow me. It's pretty busy in here, so stay close. We're almost there. I'll have you know I'm a doctor too, and I'm telling you right now, I need to be seen! Sir, your chart says that you're a dentist, so technically... I would like to speak to somebody who is in charge! Sir, I'm going to need you to go back to your room. Keep going, sir. Right this way. Mommy isn't around, huh? You're going to be okay. What do you call this thing again? That is a pad. You're going to want to stock up on those for her. My coworker Stephanie will be in here to explain everything to you. Where do I buy these? Everywhere, sir. Like Amazon? Yes. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. She's gonna be okay, right? Who, Brenda? Oh yeah. She's gonna be just fine. Stacy Morgan, come on in. <sighs> My name's Austin. What's going on today? She's pregnant. That's what's going on. And you are... I am the father of a 16-year-old pregnant daughter. Dad... 16! God, this is unbelievable, Stacy! Okay, wait, let's just back up here, okay? Can you tell me what your symptoms are? We rushed here because she was vomiting and has a stomach ache. That doesn't mean she's pregnant. Did you take a test? Then how else do you explain this? 
Sir, there are many reasons why this could be happening. Fine! Get her a pregnancy test! <laughs> Do you think you're pregnant? I don't know! See? Sir, can I please ask you to step out for a second? <laughs> hey, it's gonna be okay. Are you sure you're pregnant? <laughs> I don't know. Have you been with a boy? I'm a virgin! Oh. Well then, you can't be pregnant. That's what I said, but my dad gives me so much anxiety. I don't know what to think. Maybe I am pregnant. I don't know. Oh dear. Okay, let's just get you back first. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? Follow me. What about my dad? Don't worry about him right now. I'll make sure he understands. Okay. Come on, just breathe. I got you. Okay, Mr. Thompson, you are good to go. Here are your discharge papers. Do you think I can get a doctor's note for work? What do you need a doctor's note for? Just in case I don't feel well tomorrow. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, you jammed your pinky. It's not even broken. Please? Huh. All right. Hold on. All right, here you go. Two days off. Oh, can you do three days so I can make it to the weekend? No, you don't even need two days. Go home. Okay, Mr. Curry, doctors are all done. You're free to go home. Do you think I can get a bus pass? Uh, sure. How did you get here? I took an Uber. You can't take an Uber home. I don't want to spend any more money. All right, fine, sure, bus pass. Yes, Mr. Poole, you called? Hey, can I get a prescription for some Norco before I go home? You came in for a cough. Yeah, and it's very painful. I'll need some Norco to help me sleep at night. No, you're not getting narcotics. What is wrong with everyone today? If one more person asks me for something today, I'm going to freaking lose it. Okay, Miss Green, sorry for the wait. Your daughter's ready to go home. Ask him for what you want, sweetie. Mister, can I have some juice? Ah. Uh, yes. Yes, of course, sweetheart. Can I also get a couple juices and a coffee? Oh, and if you have any of those sandwiches left, can I get some of those to go as well? Uh, you okay, Rich? You know, Doc, it's one of those days where people won't stop asking for stuff. I know what that's like. I am going to do some heavy drinking tonight. Hey, can I get a prescription for some nausea medication for my hangover tomorrow? Uh, sure. Zofran okay? Yeah. Oh, and some antibiotics, just in case. Right. Anybody else need anything? Antidepressants? You take him. No, you take him. I took him last time. Yeah, well, he likes you. That's not a good reason. You take him. Hey, what are you guys arguing about? Dale, the ER volunteer, is here today. Oh my god, I love Dale. He's always so helpful. He's a little too helpful. Austin, you should take him. I would, but I'm going to lunch. Ben, can you cover me in triage? Yep, that means you get Dale. <sighs> Damn it. Hi, guys. Da Damn it, Dale. Can I get you anything? Do you need anything? I'm okay, but I'll bet Ben could use your... Ben? Where's Ben? I think he ran away. Son of a bitch. D <sighs> All right, come on. Hello, my name is Ben. What brought you into the ER today? I burned my hand with hot water making tea. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you unwrap your hand for me so I can see it? Sure thing. What the hell did you put on your hand? Well, that's mayonnaise and mustard. Why? I thought that's what you're supposed to put on burns. You're not making a sandwich, man. 
Well, what was I supposed to do then? Run it under cool water for as long as you can. You have to cool down the skin. Do it now. There's a sink right there. Oh. You know, this would have been good knowledge earlier. I initially put toothpaste on it and it burned more. Go to the sink. Yes, sir. Now, w was it just cool water? Nothing else? Because that seems too simple. No, nothing else. Just cool water. Cool water. Yes, sir. If you say so. Hey, Rich, I'm back. Have you seen Ben? I think I heard him screaming at somebody in bed, too. Uh-oh. Was it Dale? No. I sent Dale on a little scavenger hunt. Hey, Rich! I found the NG tube and the endotracheal tube, but I can't find the fallopian tube. Are you sure it's in the main supply room? Fallopian tube? I'm pretty sure it's there, but, you know, check, like, six more times. And if you still don't see it, go upstairs and ask labor and delivery for one. Got it. Okay, I won't let you down. Thanks, Dale. What? You're going to hell. Nah, he's only been at it for like 40 minutes. He's fine. Cool water!